what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? There's a video going around on the net of a father who caught his 13-year-old daughter in bed with a guy. Now, this guy looks like he's about maybe 14, 15, could be 16, could even be 13. He looks young. But the father put hands on him. I mean, he just was, I mean, he was teeing off on him. What was interesting is that the daughter attacked the father, like, get off of him, leave him alone, that type of thing. So, it begs the question, what type of daughter did the father raise in the first place? I mean, what trips me out about situations like this when the fathers go off when they catch their young daughters in bed or having sex with another youngster. The fathers act like they've never done anything like that before themselves. Now, this kid looks pretty young. I'm, sh I'm almost certain he's under 16 years old, 16 or, or younger. If so, the father is probably going to end up in jail. He's probably going to do some type of jail time for that. Now, you know, no matter what kind of daughter you raise, if your daughter is underage and, you know, it's some dude, some grown-ass man having sex with her, you catch her having sex with some grown-ass man, I can understand somebody reacting in that manner. I can understand that because no matter what, you figure like, you know, a grown man is supposed to be able to have some type of self-control. So I get that. But still, what type of daughter did you raise? You have to take that into account when you catch your daughter in a situation like that. Now, what's going to happen? The daughter is probably going to have some makeup sex with the guy now because she got to prove her loyalty, her love now, because her daddy jumped her. And he put the damn video on the internet for the world to see, further humiliating his daughter and the boy. So now they have something in common. The father humiliated both of them, so they may decide to that could strengthen their bond. And they decide, you know, we're going to do it anyway. Which, if kids want to have sex, they are going to have sex anyway. You can best believe that. To any man out there who's thinking to himself, if that had been my daughter, I would have done the exact same thing. I would have laid hands too. Pump your brakes. Would you have done that for yourself to make yourself feel better? Or would you have done that to improve her life, to make her a better person. I think most guys would have done it to make themselves feel better. They would have done it because they felt like that's what they're supposed to do. But I can guarantee you this, it wouldn't have helped the situation. In fact, it would have hurt the situation even more. It would have added insult to injury because she was already humiliated by her father catching her in bed with another guy. Then he filmed it, beat up the guy, and posted it on social media for the world to see. So, strangers saw the video, a schoolmate saw the video, their parents saw the video, people in the neighborhood, her family, she's humiliated. So all that's going to do is bring her closer to the guy. All the father did was push her closer. And she's going to hate him for that. And here's the deal. The father really have to look at himself. Now, what did he 
give his daughter? What tools did he really give her? What did he really teach her? Because let me tell you something, man. The way that we behave, all of us, we're a product of our environment. We are conditioned to be the way that we are. I could be wrong, but this seems like the type of dude who doesn't have a close relationship with his daughter. It's not that difficult for a father to pay attention to his daughter. All he has to do is spend quality time with her and show interest in the things that she's interested in. Take out to eat, take a shopping, catch a movie, do things that she likes to do, even if you don't like doing them. What this does is shows her that you value her and you respect her. When you have a strong relationship with your daughter, it makes the fear of disappointing you so great that she wouldn't want to. If you don't do these things, then some old clown ass fool will, and she'll think the world of him, even if he drags her through the mud and treats her like shit. No more talk. What, what, what the maid is talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.